Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm going to be talking about how to do fishing inside of No Man's Sky Aquarius. So there's quite a lot to get into. So let's jump on over into game and let's take a look, shall we? Look, yes. Now, before we get too into how to do fishing, just as a bit of a heads up, there are some extra things inside of here to unlock during the expedition. So I'll just show you those quickly. So if I go into here and scroll on down, we've got the aquatic flight pack, which looks pretty darn sweet. A lost angler's rig for fishing. A deep sea armor. Deep sea helmet. Deep sea leggings and flippers. And an array of posters. Pretty darn nice. Titles, banners, nice little sort of base item there. That's pretty darn cute. And a banner. Pretty lovely. Anyway, let's go on up and I'll show you which NPCs you need to talk to before you can start really getting to doing your fishing. So head on up here, go past Nada and Polo, and all the way to this back section over here where you're going to find all your NPCs in a circle. Now, one of the main ones to hit up is this chap over here. So hit up Eos. Hello there, Eos. Looks like he's got a shark-like head. Pretty darn apt for fishing. Research multi-tools, and we've got a new item here. It is the fishing rig. So pick that up. Lovely jubbly. I'm in creative mode at the moment, so I can just get this installed, mainly for the sake of the video. You're also going to get given a shed load of recipes for creating your own baits to do your fishing with. Okay. So here we go. So if I go on over to the multi-tool now, let's just get that installed. So I'm going to put it in here. Kaboom. Put that in there. Lovely, lovely, and lovely. That's done. You can see there, my actual uh, multi-tool has turned into a fishing rod now. And don't worry, you can just press triangle and you can cycle through all the different weapons and it turns back into the same multi-tool that it was before. So don't worry, it doesn't reskin your um, rod forever. Well, your multi-tool forever. Okay, right, so let's head on over here. Let's interact with this little chappy. Hello there. Exosuit upgrades. And there's also this in here. Exosuit skiff. You have to install this inside of your exosuit. So go to exosuit technologies. I've got a blank space there, or I've got one here. I'll stick it over here, I think. And the exosuit skiff from your teleport type menu. You know how you call a ship to you and all that sort of stuff? It's going to appear off of there. Okay. Cool, yeah. Now, under base parts, there is, a, there is an additional part to be had as well under tech modules. This one here, automated trap. You can put these in water and it's automatically going to catch you some fish. So we're going to pick that up as well. Lovely jobs. And then if we go chat to this chappy over here. Hello there, cuttlefish face. Research ship upgrades. I'm just making sure that I have got the water landing technology inside of this one. I have, so I can land on water. Hopefully I've got that installed in this ship right now. Yes, I do. Aqua jets, so I can land on water. Brilliant, eh? Right, now I need to go to a water planet. And I've got a few bases with water on, so I'll go and head to one of those, and I'll see you there. Okay, chums. Well, I can fish straight off the back of here. The funny thing is, is my, um, my multi-tool has stayed looking like a multi-tool, which is pretty broken. Let me just cycle through, and let's just see if it does turn into a fishing rod, this one. Yeah, it does turn into a fishing rod. I just managed to glitch it somehow. Right, so before I start fishing, really what I want to do is craft myself some fishing baits. I'm just going to remove a little bit of space along here and put some bait in. You can use all sorts of baits, though. I mean, um, check this out. If I go into... where is it? Go into here and go to bait. And then hit on here. Look, I can put all this on there. If you want, I could fish with some Gecknip if I wanted. Or I could even fish with one of these edible products. So if I stick that on there, you can see what it's going to do. It attracts Dorineal fish, the daytime fish. And it gives you an extra 34% catch size and also rarity. So it's worth experimenting with some of your cooking goods. There you go. Let's just plop that into the water. You can see here the line is blue at the moment. When that line goes green... That's when you need to sort of strike. And if you've got haptic feedback on PlayStation, hopefully you're going to feel when the best time to strike is as well. And here we go. Let's see if we can, we can get a fish. Uh-oh. I've been hit by a freaking... 
I've been hit by a storm. Maybe I should have put my skiff down. I'll tell you what, let's do that. Let's jump. Oh no, I've been hit by a storm. Help, 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 help. Right, if you want to put down your skiff. Ah! Oh, I'm a, ah! <laughs> oh, I'm trying to do it. Well, this is the perfect reason why you should put down your skiff. Okay, so here we go. There's a skiff right there. I just need to get blown down to the planet so I can put the blasted thing down. Come on. And pa Oh no, I'm not in the water anymore. Right, let's try and get underneath here. Quickly. Before another tornado gets me. Ah, wrong menu. Skiff. There we go. We've got a skiff now. Now it says that this thing protects you against all storms. We shall see. Right, here we go. Hopefully I've still got one of those um, cherry bakewells or whatever it was on my freaking line. And here we go. Let's see. So we've just got to wait for it to go green. Oh, they've taken the bait off. Well, they're, they're still going for it. Interesting. Oh, we've got something anyway. There you go. I got a tiny scutterfish and I didn't even have a bait on then. All right. OK, well, let's... um. Let's go into the baits then. So baits from this menu here. Let's actually craft a proper fishing bait like I was going to. So here you go. So I craft some of them. Didn't mean to hit that. We craft some millworms. We craft some of this stuff. One of my favourite ones is this one. That one is pretty darn cool. And we got this multi pulse lure. I haven't used that one yet. And I think that's pretty pretty much it, really, isn't it? Dangling orb. Okay, right. Well, you know, I just caught that other, that other little weird fish thing, like a little prawn thing. You can actually put that back on there if you wanted to as well. You'll see it inside of here. Look, I can put that on there if I want. The little tiny scut fish. I can put that on there. And look, that's, that's not going to give us much of a return, though. It's pretty pointless. So let's put on some spicy chum. Ooh, 54% rarity catch rate. Okay, let's try that. Splosh. Now, it is quite hard for me to see with these storms, not going to lie. But at least the skiff has stopped me from being blown around all over the place. So it does help, the skiff. There we go. We've got a fish on the line. Go on, take it. You know you want to. Boom. Now, there's no snapping of the line that I've come across. There's no real skill involved. Don't have to put it one way, then the other way, or anything like that. There's no sort of reeling involved. I don't think it's going to be any more sort of immersive inside a VR, which is a real shame. But at the same time, it's still fishing, and it's been done fairly well. But there we go. We've got ourselves a jungle redfin. Now, if you do go into your actual catalogue, into your Wonders catalogue, catalogue guide, and into your Wonders catalogue. You're probably thinking, can I put these in the Wonders projector? Sadly, no. No, you can't. You can't assign it to your Wonders projector. But look how many different types of fish there are to be had inside of there. Sorry, I went and pressed the shoulder button thinking it'd take me to the next page. But look, there's a shed load of pages of these things. Loads of fishes to be had. So get, get out there, see if you can catch them all like freaking Pokemon. Yeah, I actually caught this. This is a message in a bottle on my PC save. And you get a little snippet of lore about fishing, which is kind of nice. But they're kind of shallow at the same time. Um, also, you've got these boxes on this little boat right here. And they're a little bit hard to interact with. Let's uh, just come out of there for a second. Access cold storage. So any fish that you do catch, you can put them inside of here. Um, something else to mention as well. As if you have a nutrient processor, so if I put a nutrient processor just at the end of here for a second. Kaboom. You can actually put your catches inside of here. So we go. Get my little fishy. Where's my little fishy? Where are you fish? There he is. Put that in there. And look, I can make fish fry. Very nice. Cool here. And you can then fish with that stuff as well. So you might be able to find a super bait eventually. You know, there might be all sorts you can use for bait that's pretty darn cool. There we go. Let's go catch another thing with this. Let's uh, let's see what we can get. with. We'll take the spicy chum off. Go back over here. 
go on down and we can put the fish fry on see and that's only going to give a 12 percent to rarity but it has improved the size catch let's let's just cast that out quickly let's see how we get on with that yep must cast into water there we go oh if i use the shadow bait now it's really good for nocturnal fishing it looks like we've got something interested in this one now they may just take the bait and i might just lose it because sometimes it flashes yellow rather than green and you've got to be really quick to strike on it when it goes yellow look they've taken the bait it's gone now but hopefully i can still catch a fish anyway even without any bait on there we go come on if you want to catch a fish you kind of need a fair few baits you know but you've got the sweet water minnow now what you can do is you can jump into the water go into your um catched item and you can release it and if you look above my head you'll see how many nanites i get for releasing it there you go i got like a um, couple of hundred nanites now if you've got like an s class fish you're going to get more obviously uh if you've got a class exactly you're going to get more so you can earn nanites while fishing. You can you know, convert them into food products and go sell them to Kronos and get nanites as well. But at the moment, these fish don't have any models to them. They don't have any models. And there's no aquarium to put them in. You can't put them in the actual aquarium that's already inside a game. And you can't actually view these fish. They don't have models. So it's almost like having a load of cards or something it's it hasn't really got much substance to it i'm hoping that that changes i hope we get to have our own aquarium to put these in i hope they improve some of the fishing mechanics i hope they make it a little bit more of a, a challenge to catch them i don't know especially inside of vr perhaps i need to try this in vr that'll probably be my next video fishing in vr unless the expedition takes place if the expedition takes place i'll probably be running the expedition and i'll do that in flat mode but i do want to have a little go of angling and fishing in no man's sky in vr but i think this update here is just to take us through september and into october and i think come mid to late october we might start getting rumblings of perhaps another update coming i'm thinking something a little bit more creepy something a bit more aligned to the void mother that's what i'm thinking anyway people we shall see anyway that's everything i've got for you thank you very much for watching salute to mondo goodbye goodbye and goodbye again